This video shows you what to do if you experience a brake activation with your SawStop Compact Table Saw. If the saw detects a conductive contact, the brake cartridge will activate and stop the spinning blade. You will need to reset the retraction mechanism and replace the brake cartridge and the blade. The part number is different than previous blade cartridges. You might be eligible for a free cartridge when you report the activation. Make sure the Start Stop button is in the Off position. Turn off the power switch. Unplug the saw. For an extra measure of safety, lock out the power switch. First, here's a quick review of how the safety system works. If a conductive material touches the blade, the system detects a reduction in signal and activates the brake. In addition to the brake cartridge stopping the spinning blade, another feature of the safety system is that the retraction mechanism pulls the blade below the table. You'll begin the process by resetting that mechanism. Remove the insert and the blade guard. Fully lower the elevation mechanism. As the elevation mechanism reaches its lower limit, the retraction mechanism resets. You can hear, see, and feel the reset take place. You don't reset the electrical portion of the safety system. This is done automatically by the system itself. Fully raise the blade. Use the blade wrench to remove the arbor nut. Remove the outer arbor washer. Use the blade wrench to unlock the latch on the dust shroud door. Open the door. Turn the cartridge key 90 degrees to unlock. Remove the key. From this point on in the process, wear gloves and eye protection. The pressures created by the activation will require a little extra effort to remove the blade and brake cartridge. First, try grasping the cartridge through the dust shroud door and simultaneously pulling on the blade and cartridge. The included blade wrenches can also be used to pry the blade and cartridge away from the arbor and cartridge mounting pins. You will need to create a small gap between the blade and the arbor washer and insert the tapered end of the arbor nut wrench to pry the blade off the arbor. Alternate between prying small amounts on the blade and the cartridge to get them moving. If this doesn't work, using a plastic or hard rubber mallet to tap the blade as near to the center of the blade as possible may get it moving. Once the cartridge and blade are free, lift the blade up out of the throat of the saw. Please send us the activated cartridge as part of the report a save process. The cartridge stores the activation data and we are able to use that data for product development. To remove the blade from the brake paw, place the blade in a bench vise and then use the mallet to knock the cartridge loose. Discard the blade. Do not reuse. Slide the new brake cartridge onto its mounts. Insert the cartridge key and then turn 90 degrees counterclockwise to lock. Close the dust shroud door. Make sure the inner arbor washer is still in place and then place the new blade on the arbor flange. Place the outer arbor washer. Make sure it's facing the correct direction. Notice that the outer arbor washer fits on the two flats on the arbor flange. Thread the arbor nut onto the arbor flange. Tighten the nut 
do not over tighten. Only a small amount of torque is needed. Install the blade guard and the insert. Finally, you'll confirm that the status of the system is normal. Plug in the saw. Unlock the power switch. Turn on the power switch. The red status light should blink slowly for a moment to indicate the system is initializing. The red light should then turn off and the green status light should display as solid. In other words, the status lights should indicate the normal startup process. If some other combination of lights display, switch off the saw. There are two common startup problems to watch for. If the red light is flashing and the green light is off, check the cartridge key. Open the dust shroud door and then make sure that you have fully closed the cartridge key until it clicks in place. If the red and green lights are alternating after switching the saw on, check if the start stop button is still pulled out. If so, it will need to be pushed in before powering back on. If an error condition persists, check the status label located on the left side of the saw or check the manual, which you can download from our website. If you still can't identify and resolve the error condition, contact the Saw Stop Service Department. That's it. You have learned how to reset your Saw Stop compact table saw after an activation. As mentioned, we would greatly appreciate details of the activation. Visit the Report a Save page at sawstop.com. If you have questions, contact Saw Stop Service.